Hi there, welcome to the second part of installing of the flotation bag. Uh, this part entails the lacing of the rope that will be holding down the flotation bag. So what do we need? Very nervous, going to drill into the boat. So you need a drill and I'll be using six mil bits because my rope is five mil. For measuring I've got some masking tape, a tape measure and a pen for marking. I've also got some piping. This is fish tank piping, but uh, it depends whether you're going to use it or not. And I've got some 5 mil rope. I've also got some very thin string, which may aid me to pull it through. I've got something to cut the pipe in. I've got an extra ruler as well. So, <laughs> let's get going. So I've done all the marking, it's time to drill. I've got a little wood bit which is a bit difficult to see so I'll put it on the side of the screen and time to go. <laughs> That first hole looks all right. Let me see if I can get you a little bit closer. That hole looks nice and neat, so I'm going to go around the rest of them and I'll get back to you now. Well, it looks like the drill bit worked really well, so time for uh, lacing up the rope. So my holes are 10 centimeters apart, but my tubing, I want a little bit of a bend in the tubing, so I'm going to cut those at 12 centimeters apart. So in order to get this 5 mil rope through that 6 mil tube, I'm just tying a little clove hitch on the end of the rope and pulling it through. So do remember to count your holes and judge which side you're starting. If you're threading the whole canoe, that's a different story. But for me, if you just thread in the bags, you need to make sure that you start on this side and make your loop on the inside as shown. And then you'll go around. When you get to the end, you need to ensure that the end doesn't finish on the outside. It must finish on the inside and then 
for myself I'm just going across and thread in the other side to finish on the other of the inside here so do take that into consideration So we've got the D-ring glued to the hull, we've got the rope threaded through and now we're just going to put the bag in and crisscross the ropes on the top. So it's time to get the bag in, so first thing, put the bag in. Next thing we're going to get these threaded across. So I'm just going to go through the loop, go through the eyelets. While I tighten it up, I'm going to get the webbing strap on. I'm going to take the webbing strap across the top rope so as not to interfere with the carrying handle. Now I want to just finish off the cross lashings on this side. So just finally we're going to go through the loop, tidy that up later, through the grommets and I'm going to do a little round turn and two off hitches here just to temporarily secure it. So thank you very much for joining me on this little project. I'm very happy with the way it turned out. I'm going to go ahead and complete the stern. I will put down all the items that I've used and purchased in the description. And if you do have any questions, please feel free to ask. Um, so from me, it's goodbye. Thank you very much. Uh, do share this comment, like, and if this is the kind of stuff that you do like, subscribe to Graze Outdoors. All the best, guys.